Hello and welcome to learn system view in five minutes. This is tutorial 13 in which we will talk about um, doing file read and write operations in system view. Uh, many a times when you are working on your system design um, in system view, you might have to share data with your colleagues or, or somebody else. Now the system view format data is not portable to other text editors or um, you know, programs like Excel or anything else for, for comparison. So using some of the components in system view, we can go ahead and generate I and Q data file or modulated um, you know, signal data file from anywhere in, in the chain in our system. So for example, here, I want to export the data at the modulator output. And to generate I and Q format, I have placed this block envelope to data and that you can easily get by typing envelope to and then uh, picking up this component here, envelope to data. Now this component gives me, um, you know, does the conversion from an RF signal from I and Q. Now if from which, whichever point I want to export data, I can place, you know, these normal things at those locations and we can make the connection at the appropriate point. Now, usually these things are the ones which will only collect the data so that you can plot in system view. But if you double click on uh, these things, uh, the output data format, instead of sending just to data set, I could send it to file only, or I couldn't send it to both. That means generate data to see in system view, as well as generate an external file. When we select either the file or both option, you see a new tab will appear here. Under file options, we can call it. So uh, let's say this is the Q data. So I would like to call the output file as Q data out. And the sync here, I will call it as Q sync so that I can identify the simulated waveform. Similarly, uh, for this block here, I will call it I sync and I will set the mode to both. And in the file option here, I will call it I data out. So that I will generate two files from this sync at this location. If I just want to export the waveform at this point and this point, I don't need this envelope to data block um, because they are just I and Q. I can directly connect these kind of things here. Now, once we run simulation, you can see there is no error warning. That means our files have been created. If we right click on the workspace name and go to that workspace directory where we have saved this workspace, at the same location, now we can see I data out and Q data out. These are the two files which we created. Now these files are normal ASCII files. I can open it in, a, in Excel or a notepad editor. And notice this file has two columns. The first column is the time sample and the, y, and the second column is your amplitude, which is basically X and Y axis. Um, if we plot it in system view. So while reading this information back into system view, I don't need the first column. I would only need the second column. So let's see how can we read this kind of data into system view. Now, once we go back to system view, in order to read this file, let me close this schematic and let's create a new design by right clicking add design schematic and let's call it file read sch. Now in this blank schematic, I can place a file read component. So if I type file, there's a component here called read file. And this component can go ahead and read my data. So I can right click and then click here and browse to the location. So let's assume we want to read the I data here um, into the system view um, you know, environment. And notice one thing which is important, ignore first column. We will set it to yes, because remember the first column in our case was the time axis and I don't need that data. But in case you only have single column data where you only have amplitude, then you can set it to no because there is only one column. So we click OK and now we can connect a sync here which will record our input so that we can do comparison between the original signal and the the data which we have read. So let's call this sync as I data read. And in this case, I will only store it in data set like a regular case. Now notice I have not set any simulator to simulate or to run simulation on this design. And if I click run analysis system view detects, 
that there is no simulator which can simulate this. So it will help us in creating a new one, which we say yes. And now we have file read data, and I will call it data set underscore file read so that I can clearly identify that in the tree. Now the sample rate, you need to know at what sample rate would you like to read the data? So in our original design, I have written the sample, the data with 40 megahertz sample rate. So I will set the same in while reading, otherwise there will be mismatch. And if I set the same number of samples, click OK, the simulation gets performed and now I have a data set file read. So if I open that and look at iData read, I can plot it to a new graph. So that's our waveform, which we have just read it. And now if we can compare it with your original iData. So under modulator output data set, if I plot iSync and we can compare the waveform. Notice there is a slight time offset because our red waveform appears early and the waveform which we write uh, appears slightly late. So what's the reason of that? Plus, how, how did I know this is the sampling frequency is 40 megahertz? Let's look at our original data set. This is what our simulation data from a modulator. If you notice, I think it starts from 100 nanosecond. And when we read the data, it started from zero. This is the reason for the offset. Secondly, if you notice these two sample points, they are 25 nanosecond apart, which reciprocal of which is 40 megahertz. So that's how we knew we wrote the data in 40 megahertz, you know, with sampling rate. Now, if we go back to our design and we just insert a time delay block here, because we just notice we have a 100 nanosecond offset, we can insert a time delay between the file and the sink. And now we can define this as 100 nanosecond and now the data will be very nicely aligned. We run the simulation and we go ahead and look at this data and now they are perfectly aligned. You notice there are two items on Y axis, but all of them and everything is perfectly aligned. So this is how you can do file read and write operation in system view. In next video, we will talk about how to export data from system view in a VSA file format so that you can share it across your hardware colleagues and they can compare um, your modulator or your system performance versus the DUT they are testing on bench. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the session.